Hi, I'm Gasitz, and today I will show you how to install OpenTable Driver 0.5.1. First of all, if you are updating from an older version, uh, I will recommend that you do this, uh, the following steps. So hit the Windows plus R key, type percent, local app data percent, and click enter. This will open. You will need to look for Open Tablet Driver. Okay, I found it. And you need to drag this out of this folder. All right, so I'm gonna replace in my case. All right, and now you can follow the video and you should be good. All right, before proceeding, you need uh, to check if your tablet is compatible with uh, Open Tablet Driver. So you will need to click the first link in the description. Uh, from there, you will arrive at this page. Uh, you will find two lists uh, of supported and missing features. Uh, the tablet contains in this list from function with uh, OTD. Uh, what I want to add uh, clarification about is the untested section. So this tablet uh, might or might not work uh, with OTD. Uh, they might require a different configuration. Uh, or some extra work in general. So you can either try to fix it yourself or you can come on the Discord server and we will try to make a configuration for you. All right, now that you know your tablet is compatible, uh, what you need to do is open a new tab, tab.net. All right, the first link you will find, click on download. Uh, we need to download Net5, so download Net5 runtime. Uh, download X64 since Open Tablet Driver doesn't support uh, 32 bit operating systems. Uh, Alright, once .NET is done uh, downloading, uh, you want to start the executable. Alright, click on install. Click on yes when it wants you for admin permissions. And now we wait. When it's done, you can just click close, and now you need to go back to the Open Tablet Driver repo. Uh, you will need to click the second link, I believe, in the description that will lead you to this page, Open Tablet Driver 0.5.1. You want to scroll down, uh, open the asset section if it's not, and click on Open Tablet Driver that win dash x64 that zip should be opening soon. All right, so you need to click on extract all, extract, and it will open uh, another folder. You can uh, close the zip file. And what you need to do is start open tablet driver that checks that WPF that checks it. Uh, run anyway, who cares? All right, and it's loading. And there we go, so there is a small guide now, but uh, we will skip uh, most of this, uh, as I will cover all this uh, information in this video. Uh, if your tablet isn't uh, detected by Open Tablet Driver, uh, you might want to watch the troubleshooting video. Uh, you might find a fix to your issue there. So right now you're on the Open Tablet Driver UI. Uh, from there, what you want to do is uh, first right click on the display area. You want to set it to your monitor you use to play OSU uh, or use your drawing programs. Uh, second, what you want to do is right click on the display, uh, the tablet area, uh, and click on lock aspect ratio. Uh, from there, you can just choose. Uh, a width or a height, or uh, what you can do alternatively, if you're switching from another driver, you can actually convert uh, your old area to a new uh, area in millimeters. So we have a uh, young diamond, welcome, vague, and it's pepper, as you can see. To access this, you only need to right click on the tablet area and you will see the convert area uh, button. And from there, you can just input your value and it should work once you click on apply. All right, so I will move my area to the top left and I will save and apply and I will check if it actually works. All right, so it seems like it worked. 
if uh, changing the area doesn't do anything, we might need to make some uh, modification to the uh, configuration. So you might want to watch my troubleshooting video, or you might want to open a, an issue on GitHub or come on at the Discord server so we can fix your issue there, or at least try. All right, and you see that it's actually working. All right, so uh, you can see that uh, when I drag it, actually left click, and that's uh, default behavior for the tip button. So if you want to remove that, you need to go to the binding tab. Uh, the first thing you will see is a tip binding and a tip button. Uh, mouse button uh, binding left. You want to click this and then clear. Save, apply, and it won't click anymore when you tap on your tablet or drag. All right, so uh, you can actually bind the buttons to your, for your tablets. Uh, so you just need to click these boxes, uh, you find everywhere. And you can just click uh, a letter for now and save and apply. And if you try in um, any software, and you can see that it actually works. Uh, you also have uh, an advanced uh, binding editor uh, if you click on the three dots and from there you can select a type uh, right now we can see that there are only two types uh, but there are plugins that add new types uh, of bindings so you can uh, find a lot of things as you can see in, in there but that doesn't matter right now um, Next, uh, switch into the filters and uh, interpolators tab. Uh, as you can see, it said that there are no plugins installed at the moment. So you want to click on Open Plugin Manager. From there, it will take some time to load. And this is where you will have to make a choice. So for Wacom user, you either want to use the vocab filter or QBR uh, Chatter Estaminator. Uh, as they are both anti-chatters, as you can see. Um, and for your own manufactured tablet user, so Yuan, Gammon, Vake, uh, HP Pen, UG, HCPI, uh, whatever uh, brand, uh, you might want to use uh, something called a uh, uh, constructor. So this is actually anti-hardware smoothing. Uh, we will see uh, its effect uh, right now. So you need to click on uh, install to download and install a plugin. I will do the same for Divocub and Cubase Chatter Estaminator. All right, and last one, okay, that's done. All right, you can close the plugin manager. And now, all right, so for your user, what you want to do is click on Reconstructor, Enable Reconstructor, and in MRWH, you want to input a value between 0 and 1. You might consider the fact that you can't put a value that's too low. Uh, you can't put like uh, 0 0.1 if your tablet doesn't have a, a high amount of hardware smoothing, uh, or else it will uh, do something called overshoot, where it will go over the position where you are supposed to move to, and uh, the opposite can happen if you put a value that's uh, actually too high and it will undershoot so so you will basically under aim all right next for wacom user and uh, young user uh, we have a cubase chatter estaminator you want to enable this if uh, you want to choose this plugin and in uh, strength uh, what you want to input basically is uh, value of 3 if you drag and if you over or tap x you need to input either 4 or 5 uh, you need to know that the higher this value basically means that the anti-chatter will be stronger so in my case I will input 3 alright 7 apply and as you can see it doesn't check that much uh, next uh, we will switch to the interpolator tabs so I'm gonna disable and seven apply again uh, next uh, we can enable cubase uh, chat estaminator uh, interpolation uh, version 
So I will do the same thing as the filter. I will input three, and by default, uh, it's uh, set to 1,000 elements. And in OSU, it might uh, actually uh, run at uh, 1,000 elements. Uh, last, for the tablet and chatter filter, uh, you will need to consult uh, Devacab uh, wikis, or just the plugin wiki. If you take a look at again plugin manager, Devacab filter. And you can see that there is a wiki actually for this plugin, so it will basically link you to the um, Devocab uh, repository with the wiki about the the, the anti itself. So I will let you do that, uh, as I don't know much about the specific plugin. All right, once you're done setting up uh, everything, uh, there are two more steps to go about. So first, you're going to search for UAC, uh, user account control. And what you want to do is uh, basically, we know a lot of users have this slider uh, down like this, and you want to place it at uh, second to the top. You click OK, you click Yes. All right. And you're done with this. Now you want to start OSU. All right, so now you will add to uh, the options. You will type raw input and you will disable uh, both this option right here. Uh, so it actually works in game. And that's it. All right, some of you might want the driver to start at startup, so what you want to do is right click on the UX.wpf, click on create shortcut, copy that shortcut, uh, hit the Windows plus R key, type shell to that startup. Just like this, press enter, and pass your shortcut there. Next, what you want to do is right click again on that shortcut. Uh, property, uh, you will see run, what you want to do is click on this and click on minimized, apply, OK. And so that way it will uh, start and uh, hide in the system tray at uh, login. So there you go. All right, I think I'm done with the open tablet driver setup. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, for those who still has issue, you can proceed to the troubleshooting video. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm basically done. So good luck on your PP farming journey. Goodbye.